Is learning Kubernetes enough to get a cloud job? In this video, we are going to answer that question. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Raj. I'm a senior solutions architect for containers and serverless at AWS. I'm also a best-selling Udemy author, tech advisor of a crypto startup and public speaker. All right, let's get started. So let's say you learned Kubernetes and now you want to get a job at the cloud. Is that enough? Not entirely. So if you want to get a cloud job related to Kubernetes, you need to understand the Kubernetes service in that cloud. So for example, the most popular cloud right now is AWS. So you need to learn Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service or Amazon EKS. But don't be scared. You have already done the hard part. If you already know Kubernetes, your job is 80% done for Amazon EKS. All you need to know is the additional functionalities that EKS provides. For example, managed node group, ingress controller, VPC CNI, and Fargate, which is a serverless way of running Kubernetes pods. Okay, so you learned some of the additional features of EKS on top of Kubernetes. Now let's think about a bit. What is Kubernetes at the end of the day? It is a way to run your application. So how do you manage or deploy your application? So at the end of the day, your application is nothing but code stored in code repositories. So you need to know a little bit about a code repository. So GitHub is the most popular code repository. And if you learn GitHub, the other code repositories are very similar. So what that means is you also need to know Git commands. Because your application is stored in the code repository, you need to know how to clone that repository, how to make changes, how to create a branch, how to create a pull request to push those changes back to this repository. So that means you need to understand the Git commands. And the difference of deploying an application in Kubernetes versus deploying an application in traditional virtual machine is, you need to create a container from your application code. So that means you need to know Docker file. Now, here is a word of caution. A lot of people think that they need to know Docker in and out. That is not true at all. If you want to work in cloud and Kubernetes, you only need to know specific components. And if you are doing hands-on Kubernetes, you will know those components. For example, you need to know how to create a Docker file to create the container from your application code. All right, so let's say you have your container and they're running inside a pod in Kubernetes and pod life is mortal. Pods will die, pods will come up. So you need to have a way to troubleshoot them, to track them, to monitor them. So for monitoring, you obviously will learn some of the tools that is integrated with Kubernetes, such as Prometheus, Grafana, etc., that you are already learning. But it will be super helpful if you learn some of the Linux commands to know how to deploy your container into the Kubernetes, how to check if a particular container is failing, check the log, etc. So this is the bare minimum knowledge that you need to get a cloud job. Now, if you want to set yourself apart from the crowd, then you need to understand CI CD. So you need to know at least one infrastructure as code. So I have given Terraform and CloudFormation based on your preference. If your company currently uses CloudFormation or Terraform, you should learn that. If you are a fresher going for a job outside or your current company does not have any cloud positions and you intend to apply outside for job, then you should learn Terraform. So with infrastructure as code, you can provision Kubernetes cluster, you can provision other AWS resources. And how do you run this infrastructure as code and deploy your application? You do that using DevOps toolchain. So the most popular DevOps tool is Jenkins. So I highly recommend learning Jenkins, especially how to deploy to Kubernetes, including the brand new GitOps concept. And the last but not the least, you also need to practice interview question answers. I have seen a lot of folks who really know these technical areas very well, but they do not do well in interview. They struggle to explain what they already know. So when you are studying all these concepts, I highly recommend search the interview question answer and just practice. If you know this technical concept, just practicing every question at least once or twice will make you much more better in the actual interview. I know what you are thinking, but Raj, how about certifications and coding? I intentionally did not include them. 
Sites are good just to get recruiter attention. Once you get the recruiter attention in the actual interview, no one actually cares if you have the certification. They are going to ask you the same questions. If you do want to get a cert in case you don't have that much hands-on experience on Kubernetes, you can get one of the sysadmin associates for DevOps job, you can get an AWS DevOps Pro, and of course, you can get the Kubernetes certs. Avoid super specific certifications in the beginning, for example, Jenkins certs or Ansible certs or HashiCorp Terraform certs. If you have this Kubernetes certs or DevOps Pro certs, that's more than enough to get recruiter attention. Next thing is coding is not a primary requirement for Kubernetes cloud jobs. It can be picked up at the job. There is no formal coding round in DevOps or Solutions Architect, networking or security interviews. If you are interested in learning coding, pick Python if required. Python is the most popular programming language in cloud. And if you follow what I'm saying, I guarantee you, you will get a Kubernetes job on cloud. Just a quick note, if you are someone who is looking to learn system design, Kubernetes, the full DevOps technology stack, Git, GitHub, serverless cloud formation, all my best selling and highest rated courses are on sale. Check out the reviews, check out the free videos. All my courses come with 30 day money back guarantee. Discounted link given in the description. All right, folks, that's it for this one. If you like this video, please click that like button, smash it if that's something you are into, subscribe, ask me any questions in the comment, each like, subscribe, comment, help this video reach new viewers and in turn help this channel grow. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.